Here's the before with this little red door. We bought an 1800 square foot house and turned it into this environmentally sustainable, energy independent residence. The entire back facade faces south and that little house you just saw is right inside there. We kept it, we built up and over. We even used for the new driveway, the rubble from six townhouses that were on their way to a landfill and saved that rubble from the debris to basically underlay this system. We put in the blocks, which are made from the, uh, you know, the concrete powder, not just the natural stone to line the system. And with the stucco and the smart windows and even the flagstone systems created, I think a residence that doesn't necessarily look like it's all environmentally sustainable. So we're gonna go inside and see all the interior elements, but we're also gonna walk around the outside and look at the way the dual meter system works, the heat pumps and the solar panels on the back. Let's take a look at the left side of the house, which is where we have the heat pumps. What the heat pumps do is serve as the best backup for our solar radiant system. And what we have is a SEER 14 high efficiency heat pump system. These frigid air systems are part of state of the art technology now where you're using electricity and the electricity powered by the sun. You don't have to have that, but we happen to have it to basically convert the outside air into a warmer air. It's like a reversible air conditioner. We have two because we have a big enough house we want to have the double zones, which is important as you look at environmental and savings not to waste air in terms of hot air in areas of the house that you're not always using or at night. The southern facing rear facade of this house is the power source. So the upper level panels, and there are 24 of them, are the photovoltaics that generate electricity from the sun's rays. The lower three panels are the capability source for all the hot water. So inside each of those lower three are coils that run the pipes that feed the tank in the basement. And we'll have a chance to go and look at how that whole pump room actually works. But when you have enough of those panels, like those big old screens up there, you can start to really make a dent in the energy use of your house. Let's take a look at some of the other things that are happening here. Because natural light is very important. So we face south with all the windows. We have the skylights. We have the overhangs that are very important too because right here you can see in this big family room and kitchen that the level of the overhang where the gutter is is designed so that in the summer when the sun is very high it prevents the sun from coming in and overheating the house. But in the winter the sun drops down into the 20-30 degree off the horizon versus 80 or 90 degrees and now you're letting that warm air in to the house itself. We also dug out the basement. So what we ended up doing is creating a walkout scenario where we get the light naturally into the basement. And then all of a sudden you're not worrying about running always the lights to power up the room. And it's one of those things where with the compact fluorescent bulbs and the light fixtures and the tank system in the basement that's fed from those rooftop panels, aesthetically, it's kind of got a stealth bomber feel. You know, it's not some real eyesore and it doesn't necessarily have to always face the street. So when you have a house that has a southern rear facade, it's a neat opportunity to use some of the surface areas, as we did, to generate power and hot water for your entire home. Here's the meter system for what's part of our grid connected system. What it means is you don't need a battery. Here's the meter that shows how much of the offset power we've created versus the other meter that shows how much we've had to buy. We find in the winter, we have to buy more than we can create, but in the summer, we have a surplus and we're able to sell it at the market rates, which is a powerful tool again for homeowners. Spring and fall, we find we're about neutral. But what this means is you don't have the cost, like back in the day, even just a few years ago, of battery systems. And what's really cool is on the way to work, you can check your yield and report back to the family on how well you've done. It's an interesting way to monitor and measure and feel pretty good about the savings that come in just about every day of the year.